Welcome everybody and welcome back to the Binding Isaac of Repentance. Today we're playing Enui. I think that's how it's pronounced. I heard it pronounced once and it's something like that. It's a little bit weird, wonky. But basically what this guy does, or I should say represents, is he can be all of the seven deadly sins. With his ginger root, he can turn into other characters. I don't know if it pauses time. It does not. Good thing is you can cancel it. And now we're just base Enui. Probably means something. But in short, we can turn into any of them. Envy, Wrath, Gluttony, Sloth, Keeper, <laughs> Keeper, Greed, Lust, and then Pride? Pride. And all of them have their own special little doohickeys. Like, I'll turn into Lust because Lust, how it works, is you just you gain creep and max speed. But all of them also do have drawbacks. And they also have this thing called uh, Miyasama. Mi yeah, Miyasama. I don't know what that means. But I'm going to assume that means something along the lines of you turn back into base form when doing that. Because it changes with all of them. So like this one says enemy drops bombs, bombs are lethal, and Miyasama kill enemies without bombs. Now one of the good ones is pride because you clear a room without taking stats. You basically, it's kind of like death's list. You just get some stats for free. But when you take damage, you do get a curse. But it also says you gained Miyasama when taking damage or defeating a boss. I don't know what that is still. You can change it anytime. They do have cooldowns. They are different. Like, uh, Lust is only 10 seconds. You can see that it's a 60 for Pride. Which means it would just be a full minute cooldown. And I think something like, uh, Gluttony is... Doubled. I do actually want to change, however. Because Gluttony... Has 50% of his stat or items are doubled. At the cost of 25% of the time, items get just... Destroyed. So, I think it's probably... I mean, it's totally worth it. It's gotta be. Plus, this guy doesn't have any punishment for taking damage. So, all we're really missing out on is maybe a small amount of stats for beating the boss. But, overall, I don't think it's that big of a deal. And, I mean, I'm pretty sure 50% is bigger than 25% of the time. So, we should gain more items than are destroyed. It would be kind of unfortunate, though, if we did uh, lose our stuff. Now, this character is definitely a lot a lot he's heavily based on i don't know how much health we have on like taking your time because one of them i'm pretty sure it's greed all pickups do grant coins as well also i assume some of the time oh i see what it means now it doesn't mean it's like damocles doubled it just means it would have given the twice okay but if we change to greed, here he is. We could take this, and I thought that was supposed to give us money. Pick up, drop additional coins. Oh, it does say it has a chance to give nothing instead. I don't know if we got nothing. Come here, Hart. Come here, please. Oh my god, I thought we had it. Oh, we're probably at max health. We're at max health. I'm stupid. Okay, so it doesn't matter. I'm pretty sure it said room rewards. Yeah, so it's room rewards, not anything else. Let's switch to pride. And we only gain the stats when we're in pride mode, I get. Oh? Huh? Okay. Yeah, sure. No, what's up? This is definitely a reshaken room or item room. Because of the fact that it does have a spirit orb in here for free. I mean, I think it's cool. I ran into a few of these. Only today, though, and I was playing at school. Or, not school. I mean, yes, it is school. Playing at college. Whoa, almost walked into that. It sounds wrong, whatever, whatever. I don't care if you argue with me or not. It's... I'm bored. I'm playing Isaac. I'm working on that save file progress, baby. I got nothing else. We're gonna go alt path at least for the first floor or two. Because why not? Now, hopefully you do get an understanding of this character. Because I don't. I don't understand what a miasma is. It sounds like a Japanese sword. I don't know why there's a little ball in the middle that's counting up. I don't know. Some It just goes up, whatever. What? Oh, Wrath makes all pickups bombs. Hmm. We can't just switch back to the ma uh, main guy. It says cuts miasma in half. I'm going to assume miasma is something that you don't want to get high. So probably switching to that main guy, 
like I said, cuts it in half. Probably a good thing. Let's check. Miasma is the middle. Okay. I don't know what that does when it gets high. But we should periodically switch to main guy to cut that in half every so often. Okay. I'll definitely keep that in mind. I feel like it's probably going to be one of those things where it's just if you get to like a thousand, you just die. So yeah, let's not do that. Oh my god, why is it lagging? Oh my god, we have sharp glass, shutter glass, that's what it's called. So we should switch to gluttony. I actually do get stats. Interesting. Just thought we could come in here. He consumed it. Okay. Yeah, so it's just two of whatever item it is. So gluttony is actually not that good. Unless it is an item that actually does stack upon itself. Which, a surprising amount of items don't do that. So we do have to keep that in mind. We should switch back to the main guy to cut the miasma in half. Still don't know what it does, by the way. Yeah, I tried to look it up. I genuinely don't know what miasma means. There's a thing that showed up called miasma theory. Which has to do with vapor waves and smell and stuff. But I don't understand how that works in this context. I just know I saw something on the Steam mod work page, English, that said there is an issue. Oh, so that's how it works. You have to clear the room. Okay. That said at high miasma, they had to like limit the greed because of the fact that it would spawn too many coins. So I think a higher miasma, this is not smart. You can sometimes push the bombs away. Dang, I see. But basically, Jesus Christ, which is buying stuff. Will that spawn money? No, it will not. Okay. Might as well take BFFs, because it's just, why not? But I think at a higher Miasma, more stuff spawns. Will this cure Shred of Glass? No, it doesn't. So I'm not entirely sure why you don't want to have a high Miasma. But I'm gonna guess that we don't. Help me. We're slow, so we can switch into Lust. There we go, simple enough. We can turn to main guy. We can turn into Pride. Pride's not the one I wanted to turn into. I don't remember what he does. Oh, that's right, he gives stuff. Uh, I mean... We have stats. We have health. I think we can go Devil Deals. I think we're not gonna go Devil Deals. Alright, so I think we just roll with pride. Because that way we can get some stats. Nice. Now, I didn't mean to do that. Switching to gluttony. Take this. We only get one. Okay, cool. We still got it, though, which is fine. It does count for a health up, I guess. So we're done bleeding. I like crap corn. I'm glad we did not just get rid of that. But let's switch. Can't switch. I think we turn into Wrath, because Wrath says enemies spawn bombs. Bombs are lethal. I'm going to assume, to me, worst case scenario. But I'm also going to assume that it is lethal to them as well. So it'll probably make room clearing a little bit easier. And we do have a ton of money. We can take the stars that would get rid of science affection. I think we keep that around. And then I think that we should just swap to Greed to get some more money. Okay, that, I don't think that should have spawned money. But I'll take it. I mean, we might as well just stockpile some money right now. Because shops, hey. I'm going to assume this guy's not going to be good on later floors. Why are we here for this soul heart rock? That's right, baby. Ton of money. So nice to have this. We're probably going to be fine to set on money for a little bit. So, I say we take Spirit Deluge. Accidentally use it like an idiot, and then we just ignore that ever happened. Right, and one thing I've noticed is, when switching, you do get like brief invincibility, or not invincibility, but you get like a brief stop on the counter of your Miasma. So that might be good. I'm still not sure what it does. Okay, that's right. Uh, what this guy does is he grants random effects when you get hit. So, we just got trinkets. Cape Worm. Loop. And La Chancla, which is just a speed up. Now, it's totally a super smart idea to just go into uh, 
pride mode. I'm trying to remember what these guys are. Not hard to forget, you know, greed, whatever money. I'm pretty sure that this is pride mode. Boom will just give me some stats for clearing rooms without taking damage. And since we can't take damage, it's just a guaranteed payoff. Although I don't know if these stats transfer to other characters. Let's switch. They do. Cool. Magic 8 ball. Do we get double? No. That's right. It's still broken. Oh my god, that's so cool. It flips in the mirror mode. Oh my god, that's actually pretty cool. So now I have to actually press down left to aim right. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Now we're taking full hearts of damage. Oh, that's right, because I went for the one that takes more damage. Okay, cool. Let's switch. Yeah, switch to Sloth, because we have healing chance. Oh, well, this guy has awful stats, so I lied. Let's switch again. The stat brother over here. Who does get extra stats, I think. No, maybe he only gets the stats. Yeah, that would make sense. We should have about 1.4 speed. Ugh. So maybe the stats don't transfer over. That kind of sucks. But at least we do have a powerhouse of a character when we want to be him. So what we want to do is just kind of clear. Like, uh... I don't know who do we want to clear as. Probably Greed, if anything. Or we can do it as Wrath, because Wrath does make clearing rooms easier. Until we can switch. And then I guess we can switch back to Envy. I think Envy is the right one. Pride. Right, Envy is random effects. Alright, cool. So Pride's amazing for boss killing. And then we kind of just switch between Gluttony for picking up the items. If we want to risk it. And then Greed for money, I guess. Which we don't need a lot of, because... Oh boy, is that overpowered. Owie, Daisy. Shop with our massive amount of money. Greed versus Greed. Will each of the pennies he drops spawn more pennies... Am I crazy for wondering that? I don't think it actually did. Okay. I think mean, so far it's pretty cool. I just don't see a reason to use some of the worst ones. Like, why would you really want to use Lust? He's fast, but later game I don't think that matters too much. Plus, he just takes more damage. So, eh. Still don't know what Miasma does. I don't want to find out the hard way. So let's just switch into someone else, and then we could probably switch into Wrath. So I like to clear the main rooms with Gluttony, not Gluttony, with Wrath or Greed. That way we get money, or that way we have an easier time clearing, and I think now... Whoops, did not mean to do that, but we got to do... Actually, very sad right now. Very sad. It switched not to Envy, to Pride. Get our stats back up. Which, I'm glad that it's a flooded caves, because now Jacob's Lair is going to be doing a lot. And also it's going to be made quick work of, and we took damage, so we got a random effect, right? Yeah, that's a curse. Thank you, Shard of Glass. We got our money, and we got, I guess, Construct from Below Duality. Seems solid enough to me. Random pill, go. Okay. So now that we're... Add a new floor, switch to main guy, then I guess we can, I don't know, change the wrap. I think that sounds fun. Shop with all our money again. I'm glad we haven't had to really worry about money. Now, uh, I think we bomb this guy and we don't bomb him because of the fact that Shutter Glass just sucks. Why did we get a bomb? Why are we getting, oh yeah, that's right. All pickups turn into bombs as a wrath. So we should switch to main guy to lower our Miasma. And then we can switch to Greed. No worries. Why did that just pulsate? Oh, we could probably take this for a bunch of money. Okay, so sacks are good to buy. Sacks are just totally free. And if anything, they make us money. I say we take our battery. i not sure why we would want that yet. Ooh, Diplopy, I think we grab. Oh, we need money. Oh, we got damage. I don't know. Yeah, we definitely are going to need a lot of money. So, green mode is the right play. It's steps one. So, we are going to need a lot more money, actually. Now I'm thinking about it. And I think it's worth it to switch to Pride for this boss fight. 
because I don't think anything is a little spawn because it's pick up spawn money not just anything that spawns also we really want to make sure we grab this evil evil angel double deal I guess that's a cool mixture of the two chances are it's not gonna happen but I'd rather just get the chance now out of the way instead of taking damage on a random shard of glass tick or something stupid and then losing the run because we're like pride mode taking the extra damage for no reason thank you for doing that before you died by the way how nice of him our damage is actually pretty bad speaking of damage okay now we go enemy mode take damage because why not and now we just run away now, an upside to Greed is that he does actually get a lot of the stats. Because a lot of them do take stat downs. Holy bejesus. Okay. A lot of them do get stats down. Oh no, the random penny. Oh no. A lot of them do get stats down. Or stat downs, though. So it kind of sucks to play as some of them. But it's typically fine. That's one thing I've noticed. I forget what I'm saying within a matter of seconds. So I cannot keep like one solid conversation going straight. Because I'm just like, oh yeah. That's right, I should be talking about this. And then I just forget halfway through because something stupid happened to the game. Just like that. Is why we hate Shadow Glass so much. I don't want to die. Take the Plopia. We don't need double bombs. We do need sack though, money. Oh, that's right. We're not green mode. We are greed mode. Uh, let's take this to heal. Okay, cool. That does stop the shard of glass. Electrolytes on hit. The player's tears have a low chance to activate your currently held active item. Please don't. Removing one charge. The chance increases based on the player's luck stat and decreases based on the number of charges on your active item. Well, we don't have an active item that charges, so it shouldn't be a big deal. Why isn't spawning money now? Why did you break? I am sad. I just realized I should be saving my money because we have a crane game with good stuff in it. Might as well see now before going back down. Wait, I don't know why. Yeah, we really need to check. I think it's spawning less money because of the fact that we have a high miasma. Does that make sense? Alright, cool. And the last one is not important. But let I'll give it a shot. Because it's cool to win all three things. Three in a row. Okay. I figure we just head on down. Anyways. I had dream catcher. Can I stop taking damage on these stupid spikes? Uh, whatever. I mean, that's a classic. I figure we just head on down. Might as well not sacrifice anything. Can't go greed mode. Uh, we go pride mode then. Pride and greed are basically the only important ones. And then maybe a little bit of wrath in there. Item room. Oh no! <laughs> what do we do? Alright, we used the Diplopia on something cool. Boss Rush is done for. I could remember, because is it worth saving? Or like a double deal? No, I don't even think it is. Because I'd rather just have a reroll than double whatever's in there, because you're doubling something that's probably bad, anyways. Oh, we need a flight for this room in particular. Uh, yeah, no, I say we get rid of this, and if we do take damage here, we don't have to worry about Shardew Glass. If Shardew Glass doesn't break at half of a break, break at half of a heart. But at the same time, uh, now we're at half of a heart, I say death to whatever be in this room, and it didn't even die anyways. Okay, that's really funny game. It's really funny you want me to do that. It's really funny you want me to die. Oh my god. Uh, judgment again. I was hoping for a money one. What mode are we in? Yeah, yeah, we're in a uh, green mode. Although we have a slightly high miasma, so I don't know if we're going to be getting paid from all of this. Oh my god, we actually got the hangman card. Oh, ho, 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 it's money time. I guess in the meantime, I'll just say that for college, two of my classes I have the same teacher. It's a math class, both of them actually. And it's funny because one of them has four students and the other one has five i don't know how they didn't get dropped for having nobody there but i it was kind of nice because i go into the first one i go oh is this the one with four students but i thought one of them had like a normal amount of students Ooh, it backed. and she goes no this one has five and i'm like no you're not telling me i have like the best classes in the world 
because I mean I like math so that's not an issue and then there's only four or five students oh my god it's just so great I mean it kind of sucks because you're the only couple people in there but I don't see that as an issue is just do the work and you'll be fine for him and she's also a nice person that would be really nice because I was really not looking forward to it because sometimes you can get screwed over if you have like two of the same classes with the teacher although that's never happened to me before because it's my first time with two classes of this this isn't making sense I'm kind of going brain dead right now almost at max money we're gonna be at max money awesome Oh, yeah. It's still nice because we can get lucky pennies. Whoa. He looked special there. But we're at max money now, so we might as well switch. I'll switch to Lust Moon. Hey, uh, buddy. You're supposed to be fast. I think the Miasma does affect the power levels of, like, or the upside. So if I switch to it again. Yes, it's more than 0.4. Okay, so we gotta just switch back and forth to lower the Miasma. I don't know if that affects, like, the Gluttony's one. Because Gluttony, of course, has the 50% chance to double items and then 25% chance to uh, not have good items. Let's cut it in half again. I don't know if those are affected by it, or maybe just the upside is affected by it. Hmm. A little curious. Yeah, now we're at the max. Okay, so... 100, you get full benefits. So pride should give us quite a few stats. Yeah, it does. I don't know why I just switch for no reason. I think it is important to switch around. Because, I mean, it only cuts it in half every time you use it. So it's very mediocre at best. Now switching to Envy does actually make it go up slower. So it is worth it to play as Envy sometimes. So that you don't really have to worry about your Masma or Miasma growth. Thank you, Blanket. Switch to Lust, although Lust is probably not good for boss fights, because you do take double damage. I'm just really waiting for Pride to come back online, or Envy, or whichever one it is. Come on. It was at 0. 0.6 seconds. Shut up, game. It's an extra 2 damage, 1.75, but close enough. It does a lot. It does enough. Hmm. Okay. It makes me feel better. I'm gonna duplicate it just because I really want to feel better about myself. Because I have done something very evil and I have forgotten about the fact that we had the D6 in the item room. Okay. I mean, I guess it's fine. I wasn't gonna reroll that anyways. It's, it's only like a slight amount of coping right now. But we have got ahead, so let's focus on the goods instead of the bads. Let us switch to lust for no reason. Gilded key, really good. I really like gilded key. Although we only have a few. I can't get flight. Lust is bad because we'll take double damage. Oh. I say we switch to Envy just because random effects. It spawned an item. How did we just glitch out of that? Oh, we got Seraphim. So we have permanent flight now. Oh, okay, cool. What? I guess it just decided to spawn the Book of the Dead for no reason. We're taking the Satanic Bead Blade though. Just because it's health generation. And now we can switch to main mode. Switch back to lust. Actually, yes. Whoops, did not mean to switch to greed there. Oh my god, what is happening? There's options, it's paying off. Plus the Gilded Key. Gilded Key has like a slightly built-in mom's key effect, I think. So we should in total get a little bit more items from it. But probably not noticeable. Yeah, it's not really worth it to be any other character besides... What is it? What was that? Was that Electrolytes? I think that was Electrolytes. There's no... Uh, I'll just be Envy. It makes it slower. You don't have to worry about switching nearly as often. And when you do, it's like a 10-15 second recharge, because Envy only has 10 second cooldown. The regular base Miasma guy only has 15 seconds. So just switch back and forth every now and again. Just like, okay, well, I'm at 81. That's kind of high. Key pennies? Get blown up, idiots? Yeah, just switch back every now and again. You're going to be fine, I think. 
Especially in later games, because we don't need money. We have max money. Get out of the way. We don't really need the stats, although I guess I can go for stats, although it's on cooldown, so it's whatever. Shoop the whoop is cool. But no. I mean, something fun you can imagine now is... I think, if I'm right, was today Thursday? Yes. Now, I'm actually going to be in school as this video goes up. So if you're watching it right away, you can think, haha, this idiot is alerting about... What is it? Religion? I think. I don't know, one of the sociology classes. You know the classes that you're just forced to take. Kind of like the extracurriculars. It's like, okay, I, how is this related to accounting? It's not. Why do I want to take it? You don't. Okay, why am I doing this? Aha, okay. That's all. So I'll be learning about, uh... Trying to see if I can remember the syllabus. I skimmed over it for half of a second. There's something I've never heard before. It, was, it wasn't Christianity. It wasn't... Was it Judaism or the what's the Muslim one? Muslimity? I don't know. Those are like the last half semester. I it's not we have to learn about like Chinese Taoism and like Confucianism, which cool I guess. It's something even like weirder than that though. I don't know why. But we're gonna be learning about it for fun. Hurrah! Yippee! Although I. Be honest. No, we are not going. Oh, we already got a good angel deal. Of course, you should have never fallen for the temptations of the devil. That's how it works. I see. We almost go up. So yeah, you can laugh at me for that. That's kind of funny, I guess. Every Friday. Whoa, it's laggy. My other classes are a little bit later though, so it's not exactly the same. Uh, well, we don't need health. We have no need. So, it's, it's a little bit later. It's actually kind of weird waking up before videos have to go out. Because typically the first thing I do when I wake up is just make sure that it uh, turned out okay. And that actually I didn't put like PM instead of AM. I'm very skeptical always about that. Just I'm always worried that I <laughs> hit PM. So, I'm taking like three times. Like, I wake up at 3 AM. Did I set it to the right time? Oh, thank you. Hmm, let me see real quick. I mean, I haven't messed up yet. Holy Jesus. We have a high miasma. Uh, oh. I beg your pardon? I don't think I got hit by anything there, sir. In fact, I think you can go die. Thank you. I don't know how our miasma got so high. Like, I was just... Oh, when take when defeating a boss, that's right. Hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Whoopsie daisy, didn't mean to use that. I was gonna use it anyways. But I was gonna at least get the miasma down a little bit lower. Uh how about I use the power of Base guy, and then switch to Lust, and Lust still isn't at max power. Okay, so you want it below 200, easily. That's nice to know. I think what we do is I'll just switch to Envy to make Miasma go down lower. And then both uh, Pride and just regular enemy are going to be offline. So I can just switch back. Get the Masima, Miasma, Gabagoo, Gabagi back down. And now I can just reap almost the full benefits of pride and kill this stupid baby while I'm at it. But I hope you enjoyed the seven deadly sins, and I hope to see you again tomorrow. Bye.